Guys, on today's episode, I'm showing you the perfect move to sculpt perfect shoulders. Guys, so this move is what you can do at the end of your shoulder workout. So after your compound lifts, like your shoulder presses, your overhead presses, those sort of things, this is when we need to go in and sculpt the shoulders with some more isolation exercises. So what we're gonna do here is three exercises that's gonna hit all heads of the shoulders. We're gonna pick one weight and we're gonna go through it, all three exercises without resting. So here's how we start. Okay, so key point here, have that core tight, glutes turned on so it's no swing palms facing down, and when I come down, I'm not just allowing my shoulders to relax here, it's here, and then a few inches from your thighs, back up again, maintain that tension on the shoulders at all times. Now we're gonna move on to the lateral raise, hit the side shoulder, so you wanna make sure that when you're at the top of the lift, that your side of your shoulder is facing the ceiling. So we're going eight reps. Nice and slow and controlled. Also, like to make sure to make sure your shoulders are facing the ceiling, you can pour the water at the top. So your pinkies come above your thumbs. Two more. Okay, we're gonna move to the back of the shoulder. The rear delts. Try not to move the tension at the bottom. Stop right here. At this point, you want to use your momentum, but don't try to just maintain that flat back. Flat back. Two more. Okay, guys, common mistakes with this. So with the front raise, you'll see a lot of this. So it's like a hip thrust. You're basically getting a glute workout as opposed to a shoulder workout. Get this locked in, glutes on, shoulders back, up, down again, stop before it hits your thigh, back up. Common mistakes with the lateral raise, it's kind of the same thing. You're using momentum like this. Flapping those chicken feathers. You got the elbows bent like just too much, like chicken wings like this. <laughs> you know, the further that you extend that weight out, the more tension is gonna be on that shoulder. So that's important there. Um, chicken wings, no, this, shoulder gains. Okay, and then on the last one is the bent over raise. Once again, you're gonna to try to maintain that flat back, but a lot of people come up like this. So like flapping, using the lower back, to create the movement of the weight. That's not what you wanna do, guys. A lot of times it's because the weight's too heavy. The muscle does not know how much weight you're lifting. All it knows is the tension that the muscle is creating, so remember that. There you go. So that's like a good shoulder finish that you can use. It's gonna hit all heads of the shoulder. It's gonna hit your front, your interior, your lateral medial, and then your rear delts to give you that, you know, bolder shoulder look. Guys can do it, girls can do it. Do this one at the end of your next shoulder workout. Do like three sets, eight reps of each of those exercises. Go in there and kill it.